From the bleachers to the end zones, Red Irons up and down the coast. Live from the largest sports team on local television, this is Friday Football Focus. What's up, guys? Connor Coffin here. I'm a pro surfer from Santa Barbara. You're watching Friday Football Focus. Stoked for another Friday Football Focus. I am Mike Lan. Let's drop in on some heavy highlights. We kick off our coverage with a top 60 matchup in the Max Prep State Rankings. Bishop Diego, number 57. Garces Memorial of Bakersfield, number 55. Opening series and Bishop getting the interception. Michael Hayes with the takeaway and the card set up shop deep in Rams territory. Few plays later, card star junior Karan Gossett. Some shifty moves, easily breaking ankle tackles. Touchdown Gossett from 10 yards out. What a talent, and yeah, he knows it. PAT missed six nothing cards. Garces Memorial had issues with the center snap. All night long, quarterback Travis Fuji picks it up, and he's going nowhere. Fast credit the sack to Satalu. Next play on the fourth down, the snap even worse. Nice effort by the Rams punter just to get the kick off. Cards take over, though, on the 49. They waste no time. Very next play, Michael Luckhurst airs it out to Johnny Alvarado. 49-yard touchdown, PAT good, 13-0 Cardinals after one quarter. Second quarter, Rams have a nice drive, some runs and throws, and Plugey caps it off with the touchdown run. Cut the depths at the 13-7, but the Cards respond in two in kickoff. Johnny Alvarado fields it on his eight and turns it into a terrific return up the field for 55 yards all the way to the Rams' 37-yard line. Cards on the attack, Isaac Burkez with a nice gain on the ground. Drive with Stahl and Luckhurst, one of the top kickers in all of Southern California, easily booms a 27-yard field goal. Bishop led 16 to seven at the half. Now Gossett had a 67-yard touchdown run early in the second half. Marcus Chan got a touchdown catch in the third quarter. Cardinals soar to a 30 to 14 victory. 2-0 Bishop Diego plays their first road game next Friday at Redondo Union. The Santa Barbara Dons hoping to build from that strong second half and last week win at Thousand Oaks. SP putting out the welcome mat for a Forgetti Warriors team that put up a good battle and a loss to powerhouse Lompoc. Dons defense dialed in. Grant Gonzalez lowers the boom on Braden Claiborne. Dons offense gets right to work. Opening drive and Coa Herrera takes the handoff, gets a big hole and Herrera plenty of open field to work with. He runs 50 yards as he takes it into the red zone inside the Regetti 20. Sophomore quarterback Abel Renteria runs it in for the first Don's home touchdown of the year. Remember, they got shut out in week zero by Saugus. Don's had a lot of touchdowns in this one. Renteria 18 yard strike to Anthony Lopez. Santa Barbara led 21 0 at half. Early third quarter, Renteria back to Lopez. Touchdown. Don's up 28 0 Santa Barbara. Regetti gets on the scoreboard. Clever into Elias Martinez, Donzo respond again. Number 21 is loose again. Koa Herrera, just a sophomore. And there he goes, 41 yards for a Santa Barbara score. Ain't no party like a Don's party. Final score, 42 to seven. SB gets ready for the big game next week. They host San Marcos Royals, our idol tonight. Napomo and Pioneer Valley arranged an unplanned game after their out-of-area opponents got COVID. Friday Football Focus senior reporter Dave Alley wasn't thrown off by the change. Mike, no problem rolling with the punches. After all, that's what Pioneer Valley and Napomo are doing here tonight. Panthers were supposed to play Hoover of Fresno, but that game was canceled due to an outbreak there, while the Titans, they were supposed to play Hoover next week. But that game was also canceled. Just moments in, screen pass from Nate Reese to Gabe Sanchez. Sanchez finding some space, off to the races. Looks like he might score, but is brought down, but not before taking it inside the five. That would set up Vinny Hernandez, the one-yard plunge. And just like that, 7-0 Napomo. It was 16-0 when the Panthers finally get on the board. Richard Robles hitting a Don Rovalcaba in the end zone for the late first half score. Titans then kicked a field goal right before half to make it 19 to six at the break in the third. Titans deliver what looks like the knockout punch. Reese keeping it himself, making some moves down the field, running it in from about 45 yards out. That made it 26 to six, but after a PD kick return touchdown, it's Robles and Rubalcaba hooking up again. This one going 76 yards for another PD touchdown. Panthers right back into it, down 
26 to 20. Then late in regulation on a fourth and long in Titan territory. Robles into the end zone, but it's Reese there with the interception. Napomo stays perfect, beating Pioneer Valley 26 to 20. With the win, Napomo is now 3-0 overall, 1-0, and, and first place in the Mountain League. They'll be off next Friday. Pioneer Valley drops to 0-2. They'll be on the road next week at Templeton. Reporting in Santa Maria, Day Valley for Friday Football Focus. Back to you, Mike. All right, exciting stuff. Glad that game happened. Still ahead, highlights from the rivals, San Luis Obispo and Arroyo Grande, plus a good battle in the San Ynez Valley between the Pirates and the Nordoff Rangers.